Part of the town of Plymouth since 1934, Plymouth Airport has become an essential piece of the air transportation and economic development needs of the area. It's also the home to Cape Cod Community College's Aviation Maintenance Technology Program. We went on the local scene to learn more about the program and how it serves the area and its students. The Aviation Maintenance Technology Program here at uh, Cape Cod Community College is part of a network of schools across the country. There's over 190 schools that teach the FAA AMP certification. The goal is for a student to graduate with the AMP FAA certification, enabling them to become a technician out in the field in aviation. And then, of course, there's also a degree program involved too that a student can opt to take a course through and get their Associate of Applied Science degree as well. In a two-year period, they could graduate with both their certificates and their associate degree. Plymouth Airport has been very good to us as far as supporting our needs to grow. We broke ground in 2017. We since have added a hangar. We've added three or four new aircraft, and we've expanded the technology offering here to move into things like virtual reality and augmented reality training. Our class sizes are growing. We went from a very small group of 20 to 25 students every year and we are looking at an expansion over the next two years to get to almost 400 students. I went to Bridgewater State University. I graduated my bachelor's degree in aviation science with a concentration in flight training. So I've been flying since I was about 18 years old and I have 258 flight hours under my belt. The Bridgewater program, they really try to marry the two together, where you're taking your gen ed courses, you know, your math, English, science, what have you, and you're also taking your ground school and your flight lessons. So you're doing a lot at once, and some people are working at the same time, and some people, you know, are doing different things, and some people are commuting. So it's, it was hard to marry the two together, but being here and just being able to focus in this environment and just being able to strip everything away except for aviation maintenance is what allowed me to succeed this well and not having to worry about you know, gen eds and not having to worry about all those things. The fact that they give you the option to do one at a time, you know, they offer a associate's degree here where you can take your gen ed courses before or after, you know, you don't have to do it at the same time. And that's really what's awesome is they make this program as flexible as they can so that no matter who you are, no matter how you learn, where you come from, you can succeed here. You walk in the door and you feel like you're home. Everything's available to you. We have so much here and we're getting more things all the time. I could never learn enough when I'm here. And that's kind of what made me want to stay. Our oldest student is 63 years old. Our youngest student is 18 right out of high school. And they're all in classes together. So they, they mix uh, ages, genders, races. We have a huge diversity component here. We started a women's in aviation chapter here, part of an international group that is promoting and fostering women becoming not just pilots, but technicians and engineers and all different executives in the airlines and things like that. So there's a tremendous career path for women right now, especially those who, you know, in our day and age, uh, we have a lot of single moms. We have people who have um, come through some difficult times and this is a great way to change their life and make and earn, earn a living that um, is sustainable for them and their family. Women aren't going away. There's only more women coming in the industry. So it's a great learning tool for me to figure out, you know, how do I be assertive without being aggressive? How do I, you know, get my point across being, you know, I try to be kind and I try to, you know, hear other people. You know, it's, it's one of those things of learning to work with people from a different walk of life. It's not necessarily, you know, I'm a woman and you are not. It's you come from a different environment and you look at something different. And just because I don't understand what you're saying to me doesn't mean that you're not right. So I try to look at it as not necessarily that, you know, it's, there's a gender difference here. It's that there's a perspective difference. You know, it's about how you see something. As far as the town of Plymouth, we've got tremendous support from the Chamber of Commerce, legislators and leaders, all looking at us as a solution for workforce development. Because all of our students not only learn the skills to be in aviation, but they learn other transferable skills that can help other um, businesses and other um, trades, if you will. Students come here and learn things like hydraulics and pneumatics and electricity and sheet metal and composites. That all translates into new plumbers, new HVAC people, new electricians, new welders, and new marine people. So all of that said, it's not just aviation, it really affects and touches a lot of different areas. I see a lot of students who started out interested in automotive or maybe some of the other areas that I mentioned and they find out that aviation is a very lucrative career. It's gonna be very long lasting for the future. I guess I was getting burned out. 
uh, with cars kind of, you know, started off as a passion, you know, did it in my driveway, did it for about four or five years, and then the passion just kind of died out. Um, and I thought, you know, I like working with my hands. I don't really think I'm engineered to work a desk job. So I talked to the school, I enrolled, and here we are now. I would like to do more stuff with jets. I like turbines, that's kind of what interests me. So whether that be, you know, a fixed base operation, working on jets uh, under a single employer or working for a regional, working for an airline, any of those three is kind of the track that I'd like to go down. With the knowledge that I've gained here, um, I guess it just doesn't necessarily stop with planes. Working on wind turbines, it's the same technology, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of different areas you could go, but that's, that's kind of the direction that I'd like to track in. We are also developing a high school pathways program. Students can now start in their junior year of high school rather than waiting to come to Cape Cod Community College uh, after they graduate. They can literally start in their junior year online through a distance learning program and get one third of their recommended um, written test done, which is their general written exam, and then transfer into the program with that already in hand and save themselves almost a year of entry. So that's another place we're starting to dig deeper into where students are starting their journey and, uh, and their interest in aviation as well. I have a clear goal in mind of like where I want to be, what I want to do, and the reputation that I want to have. And I didn't have that before. And it's, I think that's why I'm working so hard. And I think that's why it means so much to me that I am succeeding and doing as well as I am. And it's hard for me to say that because I never, I never would have thought that I could say I'm doing well and I'm proud of myself. And that's such a huge thing to say and to be able to be proud of yourself. Some people here have, have said that they've never flown commercially, but you know, every time you get on that plane, you sit back and you think like, somebody's been working on this. It's, you know, it's needed repairs at some point in its life and how large it is, how fast you're going. It's a really cool concept, aircraft in general. I lost my love for flying, going through so many struggles. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I think I misassociated the struggles with flying and I lost my love for it. And now I want to fly again. And knowing that if you had told me, you know, five years ago, hey, you're going to want to get back in an aircraft and fly, I've been like, you're absolutely out of your mind. But it's given me the love that I had back for this industry. It has made me feel like I found my purpose again. And being able to, you know, get back into this industry and start working on them and then to hopefully fly again someday, having those feelings back is just, it's awesome. To learn more about the program, visit the college's website, capecod.edu. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.